Hey, how's it going guys, JC here. So, a lot of you may have noticed they introduced Grandmaster and Iron, and then they removed Division 5 off of everything. The other thing they did is they moved everyone from Challenger and Master all the way to 0 LP. So, we have Grandmaster here. This account was 400 LP in Challenger, but now it's 0 LP. Haven't played for a very long time, and part of the reason is they've been locking Challenger, so if you were to climb, you would never get into Challenger because it was locked at the time. But just yesterday, they actually reopened Challenger, so now you can get Challenger. But look at this, right? There's about 20 or 30 ranks that are 0 LP and they're in Challenger. So they're exactly the same LP as my account, but they're in Challenger. So all I have to do is just win one game. Why, why not play this one? Because that would be pretty interesting. And you guys have been yearning for high elo content for a very long time. I'm going to be very honest here. I'm probably going to get my ass beat, but we're going to try our best. And if we do win, we'll get Challenger in 23 hours. So I'll probably show that in the next video. Hopefully we win one. If we lose, we'll probably still get plenty of chances because this has a pretty high MMR, at least I think so. So yeah, let's get into the game. So this is actually the next day. Yesterday, I just ended up forgetting to record like a monkey, so I was absolutely tilted, and after that, I just kept playing really bad. Anyways, OP.GG and runes are on the screen right now. As you guys can see, really nice border, but also the fact that we're versing the rank 1 at the moment, which is actually really bad because I'll probably get my ass handed to me. I'll be actually getting destroyed this game. That's how I feel anyway, but yeah, I did lose a bunch of games yesterday, so it feels really bad. If I do lose, I'm not sure if I'm going to get demoted, but I think what I'll do is sustain up. Make sure I don't die to any ganks or anything. He can't really kill us as long as we have enough regen and he's not able to all in us. We're going to get Merc Treads this game and then Stinger. I feel like that's really good combination instead of Zerkus, so that's what I'm going to go for. And then after that, we can go for a regular build once we have these two items completed. That's the plan anyway, guys. Is make sure we get Stinger after Merc Treads. Get Tiamat first. And just don't die to any ganks. So that's very key right now. If we fall behind against Ryze, we get absolutely destroyed. So we can't fall behind. And in the case that you do fall behind, make sure you just split somewhere else, but avoid him. If we do go even against Ryze, we should be able to just pop Ghost and run him down. Once we have PV and Death Stance and Merc Treads, we should be pretty tanky against Ryze. But yeah, versing rank 1, <laughs> and I'm literally just out of practice, so... I'll try not to commentate too much because I want to focus, this is very high elo. Oh, he started W. See, Kha'Zix, eh? Hey? He wasted his W, so I thought I'd just go in on him. Why not? There's his phase rush. Ooh, nice. First blood. Okay, this is a time where I could potentially get ganked, so I'm gonna have my finger on my ghost in case I do get ganked. If not, then let's get a ward here. Just push out. Get all the juicy minions there. Unfortunately, he binded me. I couldn't get it. Not that my attack speed was fast enough to get it anyway, even if I stood on that minion. So the idea was we push in, and then after that let it push back towards us. But we just have to make sure we don't get ganked, that's the key, because right now... Oh, we're getting ganked. Get me out. That's what I'm afraid of, is getting ganked. And holy moly, I almost died, even though I was super careful. That's insane. Nice. Nice. Beauty. Is he gonna push in in time? He has no mana. I'm gonna need to go for it. I don't wanna miss any EXP. Or else I'll fall super far behind. And I have the regen to do this. Okay, maybe not if he teleports. Kind of instant regret. Mm, that's really annoying. Sweet. Okay, we should be able to regen back to full here. I just need to play it slow for now. But this is really scary for me. 
Especially if Kha'Zix comes back. Nice, he's over there. But yeah, in high elo, it's so punishing. Like, you get ganked, and then if you die once, then your lane's over because the enemy jungler will just keep camping you over and over and over again. And I learned that the hard way last night because I haven't played in high elo for a long time. Nice. So yeah, I'm just trying to get back into the groove and, you know, playing with a brain. Because in lower elo, like, even diamond elo, you don't need to think too much. Oh, am I dead? Okay. You don't need to think too much. You just need to go aggressive, get kills, and carry. But here, oof. Can't do it. Does he say pound it? That's weird. Oh my god, okay, he runs way too fast. Get to go back. Wow, he's so low. I could stay. He has no teleport. Okay, Kha'Zix is down there, so I'm pretty safe to stay. And potentially dive this guy. I do have Ghost. If I go on him, he's just going to bind me and run with phase rush. So I can't do it just yet. Okay, that's fine. Waste some mana. Back off. Get level 6 and just go on him. There we go. Ooh, rank 1 player. Solo killed. Very nice. Alright, I just need to keep this up because the moment I lose focus, I'm just gonna feed again. Because I got traumatized by last night. Uh, high elo is so intense that I, that's why I never record this. I just don't talk, I just focus. Because those other games last night, I was talking and then I just kept losing focus and I just kept dying for free. Like, the moment I slip up, I die, so I'm, like, super paranoid at the moment. Which you have to be. Oh, good job, Rengar. Yeah, thank goodness. I have, like, a four-game loss streak, okay? So I really need this win. <laughs> I need it so badly, guys. I actually do. And after that, I'm just going to play it chill again. I think what I'm going to do is just really focus up when the season starts and just try to climb as high as I can. There's no guarantees I'll get Challenger because to this day I still feel that I, I got lucky with Challenger that I just got good teammates and then I climb really consistently and stay Challenger for like 7 months straight. But that's because I just like dodge until I get good teammates and then by good teammates I mean like everyone's on roll so that's the key for me to maintain Challenger. But when I got there I think I got lucky, just got a really good win streak all the way from like diamond 5 which is actually a very long win streak and then on my other account on my main account Jerry I'll just keep losing so it was really weird it was the same sitting same days that I'll play I would like win 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 lose 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 all on like teapot I'll just keep winning Ooh. oh Rengar's coming in Oh. oh yeah, also by the way guys, for those that play old school RuneScape, right now I've been raiding a lot, so I've been doing a lot of raids 1, so if you guys want to play and join me in maybe raids 2, someone teach me, I'm more than happy because I'm getting really comfortable with raids now, so for those that know what I'm talking about, do add me, have it on the screen, and maybe you could join my clan, we have a lot of people that are chatting in there now, so if you guys join, you can talk to me. At least if I'm not busy, I'll reply, but most of the time I will reply, so if I don't reply, just send me a, a whisper instead, like a direct message. Woo! Okay, I tanked that pretty well. And Kha'Zix is down. Oh my god, it feels so good to survive a gank and then 
because we survived, the jungler comes to us instead of the enemy jungler coming to us over and over and over. It was so depressing when I died to one gank because I was commentating. By the way, all the games I played was commentary. <laughs> so that's like really bad for climbing. But yeah, I would just keep getting dove over and over again. And my jungler seeing this and going like, no, nah, I'm not going to visit that. Nope. And fair enough, because if I'm so far behind, you want to make you want to make plays on the other side of the map anyway. Okay, let's get this. Oh. Oh my god, run, run, run. Jesus. I didn't think uh, Renka would stay. Or well, maybe he got his recall cancelled. It's like pretty unfortunate. It's a shutdown. Shutdown for Rice. I need to check if Thingo is here. If he's here, then I'm dead. I don't have ult right now. So I just need to soak up EXP. What? Oh, he knows? Interesting. Oh! Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, Karzix is here? You're kidding me. I thought he went back ages ago. Well, yeah, luckily we have Aurelia spam pinging. Like, yep. Ready to go in. Calculated. But it was slightly early because my ult was just coming off of cooldown, so I was like, oh, Monka S. Because I know Ryze himself can't do enough damage before my ult comes up, but the two of them definitely can. Also, it's better that I could give advice uh, against this matchup because I got my ass handed by the rank 1 player just like one game ago, so I like, went 0-7 or something insane like that. So it's really good that I have a heads up and just a smack in the face just to refresh myself <laughs> from playing all those low elo games where you don't have to think at all. Okay, nice. We pushed it in. Have 3k gold. Triple rejuve is the way to go against poke champions like Ryze, Teemo, Cannon, all of that. And also, make sure you go magic resist for your secondary. So as promised, we're going to get Merc Treads and then we're going to get Stinger. That's also one thing I tend to forget is I just autopilot and go for death stance and then be like, oh wait, I'm supposed to get Stinger. Too late for that now. So yeah, get Stinger so you can actually have some attack speed. It'll be a replacement for your Zerkers. Okay, Rengar has Rift Herald. Really good. This guy's missing. Nice. Ooh, I really is doing well. And it's really good that we're holding up against the rank 1 player, so that's also really insanely good. Okay, let's check it out. Nope. Okay, let's push out mid. Because we have Rise at top lane. Oh my god, he went downwards. That's pretty saddening. Okay, let's push out mid. Oh, actually, we need to go top, never mind. Let's get this fruit. And head straight over there. This guy's lowish. I mean, I got him low. And then rises over here. So I just warn the team. I tend to forget that because I haven't played in a while. I learned a lot yesterday. Even though I lost every single game, each one I take to heart. Okay, well, I really know this fully well, so... She calculated her aggression. Because I did ping, make sure that she knows that there's danger on that side, specifically. So she knew that she can take 2v1. Yeah. 
What the heck is that damage? I like ghosted. I was ready to flash over the wall and just go for rise. Feels bad. Maybe we can get top tower. Yeah, we'll definitely get it. Sweet. We'll just start taking camps off of the enemy. Right now, there's no pressure from our team. Because the rift is all the way in base. Okay, I see Rise on the map, so... That's out of the way. We'll just keep pressure up. And just farm up for our next item, which is going to be Stinger. Stinger, and then we'll work towards Death Dance. Whatever components. Okay, let's go mid. Can Escort Rift Herald. And maybe we can end off the game with this push. But yeah, for those that want to see more content, I have like over 100 episodes where I play from Bronze to Diamond. And that was during the time where I was climbing from like Diamond to Challenger. So it's not like the very first episode of my Bronze to Diamond series is already Challenger. Like when I was Challenger, it was like halfway through the series. So I was like getting pretty good during that time, like midway through the series. So if you want to watch that, you'll learn a lot from that. I can promise you. I might not be the best at all the random champions that are suggested, but I was like at my peak during that time, peak performance. Obviously not now, but before. <gasps> Wait, what does he have? Tabbies. Alright, that's his running thing. Wait, I'm traumatized from last game, okay? He, like, literally destroyed my ass last game. So when I saw him run like that, I'm like, oh, I'm pretty much dead. But I'm actually not because, you know, having gold, having levels are way too overpowered. But then Rise is just, like, annoying. Really annoying to deal with. Last game, he was doing so much damage. His, like, EQ just completely destroyed me. I would have died just straight from EQ. Because he had a few tanky items. Like Zonia's, but like this, Zonia's Tabbies, <laughs> something stupid like that, and it was just one shot people. I'll just be sitting there scratching my head. Okay, so yeah, we're working towards Death Dance right now, and we have 30% CDR, so pretty insane, right guys? This build is solid. I'm telling you guys right now. This is the build that I keep going for, Stinger early if you go for Merc Treads. If you go for Zerkers, you can probably go in favor of Death Dance first, and then you get Stinger after your... Infinity Edge. So that's the build that I came up with like a couple of weeks ago actually in one of my videos It was during the time where Fogged was using Bork every game But it's really good to see that he's starting to use Death Stance as well. So it's really nice I'm not sure if it's from me or not, but it's really nice that he also does it uh, uh, I'm already here. I'll just push out it's gonna force Rice to come over, which isn't really much pressure, but it's something, I guess. It's Constellation Prize. Okay, so he can see me over there. Whoa. This guy is going deep. Kha'Zix is dead. He's flat. Okay, never mind. Maybe too ambitious. Hmm, Thresh says we can still lose. Interesting. I don't think so, we're so far ahead. Uh, can get an Air Drake. Air Drake first. 14 seconds for me to take Air Drake, and then I head over there for Baron Spawn. Or I could pressure bot after Air Drake. There's two options. Also, Air Drake hurts the most, and it's the least useful. That's the ironic part about it. If that's what ironic means. I think that's what it means. <laughs> There's a blue ward there. Be careful if Rise is over there. Nope. Okay, sweet. Uh, 
Uh, all right. But yeah, I figured that if I was to upload a Grandmasters game, I don't want it to be just a game where I'm non-stop feeding. And I go like 0 and 8, and I do absolutely nothing the entire game. It's just like not fun to watch anyway, so I want to at least get a game in where I'm more knowledgeable and more awake. So this game, a lot more awake, a lot more cautious, and you know, there's results. Draven got a solo kill. Okay, it must be Draven's ult just like randomly got a kill. What the hell? Did he? Oh, so he went down. Alright. I'll just keep pressure up and rotate. We have Baron buff now, really nice. So it's really powerful siege. This guy's no ult now, and he's also running out of mana. Actually, this guy doesn't run out of mana, huh? Last game he had Seraphs and I think a Ruby Crystal. This time he went budget build. That's really good for me. We're just keeping up pressure. We don't have to do anything yet. Until something happens, then we can put on the turbo mode in 20 seconds. We have Ghost, or we can just go in now. of the game and you know what because we won one game we get challenger tomorrow so yeah I'll probably have that footage up in the next video so you guys can see the challenger kind of animation thing even though it's preseason literally zero LP is already challenger but because there's so many everyone got everyone that was like from zero to a thousand LP just all got shoved into zero LP grandmaster so everyone's zero LP is so like 30 of the uh, 0 LP Grandmasters are in Challenger right now. But if you get 1 LP, you're in Challenger now. So, it's because no one plays really, but there are still a lot of people playing. Like, about 170 people are playing that above 0 LP. But yeah, I think Rengar definitely did well. He sees that a lane is possible to gank at top. I finally get ganks at top lane. Feels so good. Let me know what you guys think. Should I make more Grandmaster videos? Because they're actually very, very hard to make. This took me two days. Of like sleepless nights to make because I stayed up all the way to like 7 a.m. last night couldn't get any footage 20 30 minute queues you guys know how it is so yeah also instructions for the Nico skin giveaway LPP winter wonder skin on the screen right now just follow those instructions to a T and then you'll be entered I'll pick out a bunch of winners because these codes actually expire really soon I literally just got the code it expires on the 1st of January just so you guys know so yeah see you guys all next time cheers